reporting along with Jenny Anchando, and we are so happy to have Mickey James joining us today. Not only is she a WWE superstar, but a country music artist. But yes, she finds her passion in the ring almost every week. Take a look. And Mickey James now taking down Trish Stratus. Will it be enough? Yes, it is. The champion. The nut job has won the title. And Mickey James is joining us now. It's good to see you, Mickey. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. When you see that moment, I know you lived it, but when you see that moment replayed, um, does it bring it back for you? Um, well, of course. I think that that will always go down for me as one of you know the biggest moments of my career and my life because I've worked so hard. And there's nothing like winning the championship for the first time. Because I think that, you know, after so many years and so much that you dedicate it to the sport, to your industry, and to finally have that moment, that magical moment. And then at WrestleMania, which is the grandest stage of them all for us, um, was really a dream come true. And, you know, the reactions that we got that night and that we had the people in the palm of our hands, like Trish and I. And, and I give so much credit to Trish and to everyone that, like, was involved in that story along the way. Because if it wasn't for them, it couldn't have been that magical and so special to me, so. I know you're you're a mom as well. To how many kids? Just one, Just, that's all I can handle. Oh, you, ha you're, you have an only child, I'm an only child. Isn't it a special relationship? Um, well, he's, you know, I have a little boy and I will say like, he is such a mama's boy. Like I, I it wasn't one of those things that I think that had it not happened in the time and space in my life that it happened that I, I don't know that I would have like set aside time to become a mother because I was so career driven, mm -hmm. but it really just changed my life in such an amazing and positive. And it really just opened my eyes to quit being so selfish, I think. Yeah. And like everything I did up to that point was for me, me, me. And now everything that, and not that it's a bad place to be from because obviously you have to have that when you're driving and, and going after goals. But now it's just, it's reset me to where it's like, I don't think about myself first and like how this is going to help myself, but more of like the bigger picture and the long-term kind of plan. So how does that factor in, for example, I know you were injured and you've overcome that. When you're injured like that and you have a child and you realize it could compromise you and in a way compromise them and your ability to care for them, how is it you made that decision that you would make a comeback and get back in the ring? Um, I think, well, it's hard because it's in our blood, right? Like mm -hmm. I, I'm addicted to this business. I'm addicted to the thrill of the crowd, which is obviously different now with this landscape, but I'm addicted to like pulling on people's emotion and making them like the, the, the theater shit behind it and the um, athleticism behind it. I'm, I love that. I love portraying characters. I love storylines. I love getting people like emotionally involved and invested. Um, but I will say, like, when I first had my surgery, it was a real struggle because it was my first huge surgery that kept me out for an extended amount of time. And I couldn't carry my son. Like, now he's kind of bigger. You know, he's bigger. But I still tote him around sometimes and cuddle and snuggle. But, like, I couldn't walk. I couldn't do anything except for the physical therapy that may they made me do because my knee was completely blown out. Mm. And it was it was really really crazy but i say you know if anything he helped keep me sane i would say in the you know almost a year because obviously when i was set to do, do my comeback it was in the middle of this pandemic so mm -hmm. he really helped keep me sane and keep me grounded because i was so used to being on the road and go 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 and do all these things that it really kind of made me sit back and go like okay how, you know, I can just focus on being a mom now and, you know, focus on my healing and come back better than ever. And so, you know, that's where I'm at now. Well, let me I ask you. I feel good now. I feel like a million bucks. I'm so, I feel so great. Now I'm just ready to like come back and do something that's, you know, as awesome as I am, I guess. Well, let me In ask, the ring, only in the ring. Well, <laughs> and but, as a mom, maybe. No, yes, but you, you, also, you also are forging a country music career. I know you've had two albums, seven singles, working on a third album. Where does that fit into your life, your future? Do you envision yourself at some point? Would you segue? Because I'm thinking about, you talk about the thrill of the crowd and feeding off of that. 
there's a different platform from which to draw that energy, right, and satisfy that right. part of yourself, w really without putting yourself in any physical harm. For sure, and the only difference I would say for me as a music artist, I'm not portraying a character, you know, like, when I'm on stage, I feel so much more vulnerable because I am being Mickey James and I'm, I'm singing the songs that I wrote that came from a special place in my heart. And not that I don't write these storylines for television, but when I write these, I write them from a character's pers perspective, not so much from my own personal perspective. Yeah. Um, well, you are also, it, Mickey, let me ask I, you this. Let me ask you this. Um, because we, we only have a limited amount of time, and I, and I think this is a really important message right now as our country is trying to sort of come back together and recognize and accept cultural differences. Um, you're of Native American descent, and it's very important for you, I know, among other causes, to make sure that you celebrate Native American Heritage Month. What would you say about how your culture has influenced your life and, and what people misconstrue or don't know about it? Um, well, I think that most people, even in America, you know, we make up such a small percentage of the population to a point where we're even described as something else, you know, mm. so, which is super, for me, it's heartbreaking because at one point we were 100% of the population and now we are less than 4%, you know, so it's like super minority, but when most people think of Native Americans, they think of the images that they are portrayed on television and not get back to our traditional values mm -hmm. and our traditional, mm -hmm. like, heritage and stuff and I'm so grateful that I had that growing up to be able to learn like the ways of the land and like certain you know just you know ceremonies or be a part of the powwows and still like have that influence and like that tradition in my life and, and hear stories from the reservation from my grandparents and my mother and so I've tried to always keep that influence you know in my own life and even with my son to keep him like going to the powwows just to keep our heritage alive because it is almost forgotten about in a lot of capacities, even in mainstream, you know, and it's been glamorized and, and you know, as savages or as like war paint and horses, but it's a, still a very real culture that's right here in America that um, I just wish people paid more attention to. And fundamentally, fundamentally, it really is, as you reference the powwow, an example, it's about honoring and respecting others and coming together as a community, which I think is a good last point to make here. Mickey, thank you for joining us. We appreciate oh, thank it. Thank you so much. All right. I appreciate Mi it. Yes. Uh, Mickey James, she's a WWE star, but her third album will be dropping soon as well, and we'll <laughs> follow up on that. You can check out MickeyJames.com. She's also on Instagram as well. What a fascinating, what a fascinating woman she is to balance so much. She also, uh, I said among other causes, she also is very passionate about children's causes, helping children at risk. So um, hats off to her, Jenny.